student interview with Braden over here, Lil Pooks. Yo. Um, I guess, Braden, present yourself a little bit, bro. Um, yo, my name's Braden, and oh, you just froze. I'm 18, I live in my mom's basement, and I make a lot of money as a growth operator. <laughs> <laughs> high ticket growth operator bro That's high cool. ticket growth operator correct um i think i've done like 20k cash this month um with high ticket and yeah yusuf is my lord and savior <laughs> <laughs> bro, this is supposed to be serious bro all right anyways anyways um yeah guys so pretty much to recap brayden when did you join like wait you joined the jail like what <sighs> end of april yeah end of april you joined uh, she went kind of berserk first week, which I'm not really going to talk about because I guess it's up to you to say. But I guess um, give people an idea of like where you were like, um, you know, end of April before, you know, we even spoke and everything. I was like genuinely in the valley of despair. Like I, I was look. I don't know if you've heard the entrepreneurial thing where it's like you had a new opportunity, uninformed optimism, and then you have informed pessimism. And then at the bottom is valley of despair. Like I was genuinely there like at the crisis of meaning, like dead ass. I'm not saying this to be dramatic, <laughs> yeah, I you, bro. but like I was looking back at my journals cause I had been in online business for like 10 months and basically made nothing, um, like a few thousand. And cause at that point I'd only launched low ticket. Um, and I, I was like really down on myself and I was like, bro, am I even like passionate about this? Like this sucks ass, da da da. Um, and I, I ended up joining GA because I was like, hey, it, it can't hurt to learn from, from some more people. And so I joined, pretty good onboarding experience, lots of one-on-one. -on -one. Malcolm literally like Go ahead. hopped on a call with me at like 10 p.m. Like li <laughs> I literally texted him, he was like, yo, let's hop on. Um, I just grinded my ass off, like launched high ticket and genuinely made 11.3K like a week after I joined, which is insane. Bro. So I made my investment back in personal like within a week. Yeah, bro. It's freaking, bro, like two, two and a half hours or something. Because, bro, you, when you came, because on the call we had, you were what? The most, you were making 2K a month at most, right? Right, yeah. And then next week? It was like 2K rev, 1K personal. Yeah. Yeah. That, bro, that's crazy, bro. How'd you, wait, how'd you find me? It was YouTube, right? Yeah, so it was actually word of mouth. I, I know this is a common theme is word of mouth. But one of my yeah. friends um, had been on a call with you and he was like, hey, check out Yusuf. I watched some of your YouTube. And I was like, damn, you're dropping sauce. And then, um, yeah, just Austin. hopped on the call. Yeah, it was Austin. Oh, yeah, bro. Bro, that's the craziest part, bro. I get like 25, 30% of people that join referrals and word of mouth, which is actually crap. That's really crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I guess, okay, give, give people a bit like of a better idea. Cause now we're kind of talking about it more as in like broad or like oh low ticket, high ticket. Can you maybe give people without spilling all the sauce to the people in the group of like what is it? What's that shift that you made that kind of? Well, cause you already had that creator, remember? You mm -hmm. already talked to him. But I guess first things first, how did you close that creator? Uh, what do you mean? Like how did you close him? Like get him to even work with you? Just spammed looms, hopped on a call, closed him. Okay. <laughs> Okay, nonchalant, my bad. Okay, yeah. Just spam, okay. That is something I want to pre like premise or preface, whatever you want to call it. Like, bro, that, I guess the biggest thing about you and all the other interviews that I've done is like, you just didn't give a shit. You're just like, all right, I got to do it. If I got to do the volume, if I got to spam it, I'm going to do it. Bro, you were, in, you were in growth operating for what? Like months, bro. Mm -hmm. Doing the same shit every single day, bro. And like, that's what I tell people. Like, even on WhatsApp, we would text back and forth. Every day you would text me, setting, 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 setting. setting. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I just set for 16 hours. I'm cooked. I need sleep. Yeah. Like, that was it. And you, you put in your YouTube video. You were just like literally head down, going at it 24 7. But I guess, what, what, how did that process look different from you launching low ticket for your creator? To then, like, how did the, the high ticket go? Like, what's those key things that you learned that kind of allow you to like launch properly, I guess? I mean, for one, as a growth operator, a lot of time, growth operator you get like bitched on by your creator a lot of the time yeah. like they they just kind of bitch you around they don't trust you they're like who is this guy um and for me i just had zero frame like my creator didn't really listen to me so that was yeah. part of the reason like we could have done way more with low ticket yeah. but he just wasn't pushing hard yeah. um and so i was like okay i need to take this shit into my own hands yeah. i made him 10k just like that 
Um, yeah. And then he started listening to me more. And then oh, it was just like a compounding effect. And I we just made more more. Remember on the onboarding call when you were telling me, you were like, he's not doing his job. He's not. Bro, this is a common thing, by the way. Everyone is always telling me the creator is not doing his job. He's not doing anything to that. Because, like, guys, you're telling him, let me, let's wait two and a half, three weeks to launch a low ticket. That's going to make him, like, 50 bucks per person. And he sees, like, a couple hundred bucks. It's like, what, this whole time lost? I remember I told you, you make him a bag. You, you, if the creator sees two, three, four K coming through the account, that's different, bro. It's different mm-hmm. from someone being able to sell 50 bucks and someone being able to sell thousands of dollars for an actual product. I remember I told you that you're like, I bet it works. And then you did it and literally the frame changed. And now you're telling me like, he does exactly what you needed to do. And I don't think, I don't think it's like, like it's not like him becoming your bitch or whatever. It's more of like, you gain his respect. Yeah. You gain his respect, bro. And he finally sees you as an equal. Yeah. The biggest thing, especially with make money online creators, bro, they've made money, you know? So if you can't mm-hmm. show them you've made money, you know how to make money, they won't respect you. But now for you, it's like cake. So that's mm-hmm. the biggest thing I tell people. When you do low, low ticket, it's so hard to gain their respect. But if you do high ticket, bro, even one sale for 3K or 2.5K is completely different. Because mm-hmm. now you're like, okay, this guy can actually sell for thousands. He's going to have no issue selling for a couple of dollars, honestly. Mm-hmm. And another thing, you just have to like work your ass off. Like for me, honestly, yeah, making him money helped. But my creator just sees me as like autistically obsessed. Like I'm literally just, oh, you're frozen again. Okay. He just like will text me or I'll, I'll be texting him, like sending him voice notes all the time, just like obsessing over the business. And you just have to learn how to obsess and just just do what you're told as well. Like when like for me, I love investing in mentorship. I think it's the greatest investment you can make. So I joined GA. Yusuf and Malcolm were telling me what to do. I was like, OK, I'm going to do exactly what they tell me and just fucking lock in. And it'll pay off. Yeah, that's that's like a real thing. It, that's the thing, bro. I think people, a lot of times, they overcomplicate it, bro. Like, you have a creator. Like, realistically, the steps you took to launch him, it's not that it's not hard, but, like, it's simple things. Like, mm-hmm. people think it's crazy. It's a simple process. Just that people start doing it, like, oh, emails. I need to do a landing page. I need to do a funnel. I need to do this. And I need to have all these sequences. I need to have, like, all this stuff. And I'm like, bro, just do what I tell you. And then they're like, bro, send me your case study, lucid chart of hydrogen. I'm like, bro, it doesn't matter, bro. Like, do your outreach. It literally doesn't matter. You have to do one thing at a time. And that's mm-hmm. one thing that you did really, like, really freaking well. Um, you just have to do the boring shit. Like, it's boring as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> bro, one thing Loki I want to ask you is, because, like, you even right now you invested into, what's his name again? The guy William. Just, yeah, William Brown. Mm-hmm. Bro, because... I'll be honest, like, people obviously text me. I think, bro, you know, like, I don't hop on a call with anyone. <laughs> like, I let people know if you're not about it, like, let's not, not even talk. But you were, like, dead ass about it. You texted me on iMessage and everything, so I was like, all right. But, like, w- why is it that, like, you're so easy on, like, investing? Because, bro, that's it. Like, honestly, coming from someone, you're, like, you, you bought other people's stuff. And I think the most you had made, like, 2K a month. And you were, like, you were still super adamant on it. You're super curious to invest or whatever. And that's, like, a big difference that I don't see often. People are like, bro, let me go try by myself and then I'll, I'll pay you. Or like, bro, I'll, um, I'll figure it out by myself. I would, people would literally tell me, bro, I'd rather do it myself. I'd be way, I'd be more proud of myself. Like for <laughs> me, it's stupid, right? Cause you're just losing time. But like, why is it that you don't have that attitude? Like I'm generally curious. Well, it just depends on what you value more. Like, do you value money or do you value time? But like for me, I know this is like, this, this is Alex Hormozy mindset, but like for me, I'm like, damn, I could die tomorrow and I just want to like get there as quick as I can. And I know that like the easiest way to do it, just like the instant money comes in my account, I want it to go out into education, like dead ass. Right when I hit a new bank account PR, I just put it right into education because I know it'll get me there quicker. It's like in Monopoly, when you land on like the, blue, the biggest one and you just spend all your money to buy it. But then, and then you get more money. Yeah, and then yeah. you get a higher return. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That's the, I think that's the most important thing is that you went from beginner to then intermediately skilled and more skilled, and now you're going to become an expert. Like, I'd still say I'm a complete like, beginner, bro. Like, I, I'm I mean, still new to this shit. In a sense, but like in terms of like the growth operating, being able to launch and generate like revenue for your clients, like I'm not going to say that I'm better than William Brown, but obviously his shit's like crazy more expensive it is different right Mm -hmm. but like it's it's crazy because like you keep on investing up the ladder people think it's like one investment it's forever 
but like it really is like I'm still learning today, you know. And the more I the more I go up, the more I have to pay to learn because the information becoming more viable. Mm -hmm. And it's like you're doing that really well. Like when you sent me that invoice you paid the other guy, I was like, bro, what? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> and yeah. it was the right next step. Like honestly, even myself, I was like after I was like that's what I'm doing right now. It's the right next step to make. And it's smart. Like honestly, it really is smart. And I think people ignore that. Like, people really ignore the fact that. I think people are just so attached to money, bro. It's so crazy. Like, I don't want to go on that rant right now because I, like, I look like that guru who just wants to, like, tell people to come spend on me. Money's worth nothing. Yeah. It's worth something, but it's just, like, I think people... Anyways, you get the point. Mm. Um, and another thing, um, yeah. if you're going to be selling info, you got to, like, know what it's like to buy info as well. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You got to be willing to put your, like... To actually throw yourself into the water a little yeah because then you'll be more convicted and convictions like the number one way to sell that's actually yeah that's actually very true you know it's funny because um one guy that joined was a closer and he joined i think it was like yesterday top closer bro like kind of like really big offers and like three million in sale uh he sold mm -hmm. over three million dollars and he was like bro like when you close like you just you buy with people's shit because it's like treat other people how you want to be treated that's why mm -hmm. closers that like actually buy stuff close way better mm -hmm. because like for some reason the energy reciprocates it's crazy it's actually yeah. really real. like energy reciprocates bro people don't realize that like people that come in to work with us and are like easier to work with and just say all right bro let's do it i'm not gonna break your head and don't ask the dumbest question and just do the work every day bro they get more time with me because it's like every time i tell you something you actually do it and mm -hmm. it goes so far but anyways we're kind of going off off track right now um I guess I kind of wanted to ask from your point of view, what are like the main, what are the main, um, what were the main bottlenecks that like the GA, you know, Malcolm and I actually helped you um, kind of get through and actually fix? I mean, I guess it was mostly high ticket. Like I just hadn't done high ticket before. I had no idea how to do it. And like you and Malcolm literally just like babied me. <laughs> like, I mean, obviously I put in the work, but like yeah, the support was incredible. Like so much one-on-one. -on -one um like i i would just text you guys you guys would hop on calls with me um and like also just the program is super in depth as well so like i feel like just going through that kind of answered all my questions and it's like okay yeah. i can literally just copy and paste this and make money so yeah, yeah. okay that's interesting did, did you have like any hesitance before joining i'm actually curious honestly not really I, I'm like very uh, impulsive. I'm just like here, just like send the invoice. So I'll just pay. Like, let's get this going. What What made you like convicted in the content? Mm, I don't know. I just saw that you knew what you were talking about and you had done it. And you were like, "I right, he did it. I did it. Fuck it." Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's G shit, bro. That's like it's so weird, bro. Because I don't come across that a lot. Like, bro, <laughs> my IG DM sometimes. You're so cooked, bro. What do you mean? And I get people who ask me for 15 guides, and it's been five months, and I'm like, all right, bro, you know, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's like, yeah, bro, no, there's bro, glue I'm eaters. It's They're... like, bro, I'm almost there. And I'm like, what? <laughs> They're glue yeah. eaters, bro. Oh, that's funny as shit, bro. But um, obviously, I kind of have my own prerequisite advice on like low ticket, the churn, how it does, and the fact that people talk about it, but at the end, only use it to upsell to high ticket but why is it like bro i guess what, from your point of view why is it why do you think high ticket and like high ticket is better like makes more money than low ticket i mean there are a lot of pros i mean for one it attracts better customers like our high ticket people no our like for each low ticket person it literally requires more effort like a 37 <laughs> per month dude will be spamming me in the dms like asking for help with shit the high ticket people are just so smooth. They're like, all right, give me a plan. I'll execute. Um, yeah. So like you get higher quality clients. Um, I mean, bro, what is it? Like it takes a hundred of our low ticket people to make up for like one high ticket person. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. That's um, crazy, right? Bro, the math yeah. is actually insane. Like, yeah. I think, I think I did it the other day. And it's like, if someone's paying $47 and you want to make 20K, you have to get like 425 buyers, but if you have, if you want to make 20K and you're selling for like 3K each time, it's like 6.6 .6 sales. Hmm. It's like exponentially, like not even the same. It's like, bro, that is actually such a big difference. The support you have to do for a low ticket is like bot, bro. It's like the hmm. most bot mindset place ever. People pay $47 
and they want the craziest things in the world. <laughs> Someone will pay you like literally piff like 5k and be like, I right, bro, just tell me exactly what to do. I'll do it. But mm -hmm. bro, you did that. You're like, okay, bro. I piffed. Tell me what to do. Did it. Boom. Made hell of money. Bro, all these interviews that I have, it's two people. It's going to be crazy to even say. They either piffed or they emptied their bank account. <laughs> and then we end up doing it. Bro, I swear, almost every person that does that, the three next interviews that I have, same situation. Either That's because they, they take it more seriously. Have, bro. Yeah, bro. Because, like, their life depends on it. And mm -hmm. they just do whatever it has to do. And the crazy part is a lot of them, they become way smarter because they're so consistent. And it's like they're all in. Their mind is all in. Their brain is all in. Every day they're learning. Every day they're doing lucid. Every day they're progressing. And that's the biggest thing, bro. It's like you go all in something like this, it's like next level what's even possible. The thing mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you about, because like we're kind of in this industry right now, is like what is it, like where is it you see your future? Like working with these creators, growing, like why is it you, you didn't try any other business? Like why is it, why do you think high-tech growth operating is like, I guess, superior than SMMA, all these sh fucking goofy ass stuff out there? <laughs> I mean, honestly for me, the most important thing is it's fun. It's just like hella fun working with creators. The people you serve, the transformations you create are way more fulfilling. I mean, insane opportunity right now. I know a lot of you guys watching think like, oh, I missed the, missed the train. But like, you're still early. This shit, like for the next couple of years, you're early. Like, yeah. And also with um, formal education, it's like valued at 850 billion, decreasing the same percentage per year as e-learning is increasing yeah. and e-learning is already at 250 billion like yeah. e-learning is taking over bro yeah that's like mm -hmm. i think people don't even realize bro like people now there's literally online programs on how to get internships there's mm -hmm. online programs on how to code online programs on accounting everything's online bro mm -hmm. and for me the biggest thing is like bro if you're 18 23 24 the biggest opportunity for us is this bro like, I mm -hmm. go into any office of that. I, I live in, like, close to Geneva. I met this guy the other day. He was he's in private equity. And there's a couple other guys who are, like, millionaires, but they're in, like, medical and different stuff. And they're, like, talking about crazy industries. And I'm not sitting there saying I can't do it. But it's, like, I'm asking, like, what do you guys know about this e-learning stuff and like, these online coaches? Nothing. Like, no one's going to compete with us right now. Like, it's actually true. If you go into medical, you have people with four years of experience. We're legit in an early market. <laughs> Where mm -hmm. in like 15, 20 years, we're going to be like, you can actually monopolize the market, bro. Like on the real, you can actually monopolize it. Mm -hmm. You know, like for me right now, I'm in, I'm in a place where there's a lot of these coaches online that are super big. I know the people working with them. I know the setters working with them. I know the closers. And it's like, you're pretty much like at the top of a market. It's mm -hmm. super early. It's like catching real estate before it even existed. At least in my eyes, you know? Yeah. Like, bro, it's fucked that I get to work with a creator that has millions of followers and has insane reach. It's like working with a crazy company, like at mm -hmm. my age, it's because we're early and this, our advantage is the fact that we're younger. We understand content, we understand what's gonna happen. And it's like never ending. Yeah, we're early and as well, it's like a proven business throughout time. Like churches, the formal education system, like those are still like information communities, bro. Churches is wild, yeah. bro. Bro, they churches fucking sold information and they had communities. You'd pay to be a part of to get access to the community and you'd pay to get access because people couldn't read the Bible. Yeah, that's true. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's Dead ass, bro. That, Those bro. are two of the most profitable businesses of all time. Where'd like you, where'd, where'd you find that? Uh I think it I thought I saw it on someone's reel, I think. But still, it's facts though. It's facts though. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. It is fact. That's funny. That's funny, bro. Bro, by the way, what is it? Um, so wait, what is it? Your what is it? You're at right now, bro. Like, so this month said what? Twenty k profit? Um, no, it we're thirty k cash, which is like fifteen k profit. Okay, for you. Oh, wait, how yeah. much was the last month? Last month was only ten k, so five k profit for me. Because we, what we did, we launched uh, High Ticket and then we shut uh, down yeah. access to build it out and then we relaunched this month. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So it, wait, it could have been way more. Bro, you guys are not even done for the week. Wait, mm -hmm. <laughs> did you just tell me you just found out your creator had 26,000 emails? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But they're from his clothing brand list. Uh, so okay. what I'm going to do, I'm going to email them and be like, yo, have you ever thought about starting a clothing brand? 
and then we'll get like a good amount of them probably who are like yeah. info buyers yeah probably a good amount that's smart mm-hmm. that is actually that's a scheme bro Mm-hmm. Damn, bro. Bro's becoming a master schemer. William crazy? Brown gave me that idea, bro. That's far as far. He's smart, yeah. bro. He's actually smart. He's I think a lot of people lad. watching, he might be too, too high ticket. Well, but yeah. Like, I mean, bro's charging 10K a month. <laughs> like, yeah, bro. Definitely I'm not fine. beginner material. Yeah, yeah, but it's definitely good in the future. I think I think the, the, the thing for me that's interesting is, like, I'm open to talk. I'm open to tell people, like, I'm not the end-all be-all. You know, people are like, are scared of that shit, bro. Cause they're like, oh, I'm gonna lose. I don't think so. I think I'm not the end all be all. We all have a role. I think some other guys in this space are just for beginners. You know, mm-hmm. look at other people that just, they just get beginners into this space. We go to educated people and we kind of say, hey, like this high level way to do this. And then it's like someone else is even more high level, which I might be in the mm-hmm. future, is gonna educate you even more, like more intricacy. And I, th- I think it's interesting. I think that's what, that's what makes this space cool. It gives everyone a chance to keep on growing in it if you're willing to invest. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I mean, bro, this Scarlet operating stuff, I think is going to be here for a long time, honestly. And I think people that say it's saturated, like you can go into my Instagram stories, but we're getting crazy response rates every day. Obviously we change our fulfillment now where it's like we write people's scripts. So it probably works better. Um, but it's crazy, bro. Like if it's start- saturated, it just means that it works, bro. Like yeah. it's, it's a good yeah. sign. If it's saturated, it means yeah. everyone else is making money with it. So you better hop on and just be better than everybody else. I think and also, the- bro, what, what we realize is like saturation doesn't actually exist. Like saturation does it doesn't really exist, bro. It's innovation. Like, bro, I started doing short form content for creators. Then I was like, all right, let me do short form and help them book more calls. Then, okay, your CRM is pretty cooked. You don't have any landing pages. Boom, we can do that. And it's like, okay, you don't even have a closer. We'll close for you. We'll bring them on. You don't have a sales process. We'll do it. It's like you just slowly add on. You do more and more. That's how growth operators were even born. You know, it's because like someone got something to do. Okay, I already write your emails. Let me do a bit more. Let me do a bit more. Let me do a bit more. And then you end up being the whole thing. You like literally run the CEO of your own company. I brought mm-hmm. on a guy right now who's pretty much a CEO. And it's like he did the same thing little by little by little. So, yeah, I mean, I don't want to turn this into being the longest thing in the world. I guess um, I wanted to see it from your point of view, because I think, like, honestly, from us speaking a lot of times and everything, I think you're going to grow into, like, actually doing 50, 60, 70K, even 100K per month over time, just because of the fact that you're, you're growing your earning capacity really fast. Honestly, because of how you're investing, sometimes it's hard to see, like, the direct returns. But, like, bro, you're learning stuff within, like, you know, a couple months that people take years to learn transparently, you know, people do, mm-hmm. people look at sales. Oh, it's going to take me six months to learn sales. People look at uh, email. It's going to take me eight months to learn email. But like right, right now working with William, shit's like fucking like a week or two or three, you're literally ahead of six to eight people. Like people taking, you know, taking them six, to eight months, you're doing it in three weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess if you had any advice for people in like high ticket growth operating, what would it like, what would it be from your point of view? Invest in education. And then do exactly what you're told and take stupid action. Just like idiotic action. Just do shit. Don't like, don't think about it. You're right now. I know there are people out there who think like, oh, my time is valuable. Your time is not valuable, motherfucker. Like you just need to do shit. And then your time will become valuable as you get better. But Like right now you just need to boom, 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 take action and just be okay with sucking. And you'll just get better over time. Everyone yeah. starts from zero. That's valid, bro. I think for me, it's like the big thing is I was never the smart kid. So it's like I just do shit and I just learn from making mistakes. I never learned from like theory because I didn't understand theory. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. you know, it's like funny because I never really understood from books. I was like, let me fucking try it and see what happens. And then you just get slapped in the face for like, <laughs> this didn't work. But at least you learn, bro. And you get used to failing. And it's like, Failing is part of the process. Like the more you fail, the more you learn. So mm-hmm. that's a good thing. But I'll end it off in a in a pitchy way. I have to fucking pitch this shit, right? Um, what is it you would say to like someone who, I guess, is like you know scared to join the GA or scared to invest or feels like they want to do it by themselves and they don't really believe in what we're doing? Um, I mean, you can do it on your own. It'll take you way fucking longer. It'll take you like way more pain and sacrifice and you're more likely to give up if you do it on your own because you're not going to have accountability and like, all right, this is like me meat riding GA, but like 
The support is insane. Like you, you literally get handheld, like done for you, like literally copy paste, make money. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. bro uh, I, I swear I don't have commission or anything. Like, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I tell people very transparently, you know, if you join and you take like ridiculous action, like we're not going to freaking not be there. I just get, I even tell people in the, in the GA, like, guys, wh- why are you going to join? If I tell you to do outreach, you're going to ask me what I think about these email campaigns someone just did. It doesn't matter, you know? And I think, I think the big thing is people, jo- people get in mentorships, they try to work with someone thinking that they need to become geniuses. Generally speaking, they think I need to know this and this and this exact sales process. It's so copy and paste. I don't think people understand, bro. Like, you know now, it's so copy and paste, you know? Mm-hmm. That's like the most important thing. And I tell guys in the group all the time, like, yo, if you do well, you apply it. Bro, I had a guy yesterday, Alan. He, he joined like literally a couple of days ago and he already like got a guy interested by email. I was driving in Geneva back and he calls me. And I was like, all right, bro, someone's calling me. You better be serious. He calls me. He's like, bro, this guy said interested. I have to call him. He sent me his number. What do I tell him? I told him directly, literally text me back. He shows me. He booked a call, right? If someone's doing that, bro. I'm going to freaking be with them, you know? And that's like the biggest part for me because like that's what increases success a lot of times, even like with Malcolm. So anyways, we could be yapping you for hours. Every time we run a call, you and I, it's like it lasts two and a half hours. <laughs> bro, we were up to like 3 a.m. the other night. <laughs> Forget it, bro. Too many yappuccinos. But yeah. anyways, guys, um, I started these interviews not really as in like program, program, program. Because at the end of the day, I think it's good for you guys to see who is it that joins. Um, I guess why they join truthfully and not just like spend all the call pitching, even though if you don't buy the GA and you just have to go anywhere else, you're going to actually regret it and want to kill yourself and jump off the balcony. Because you're going to see all of our wins and the fact that we have more wins than GA than any other growth operating program out there combined. So, you do you. Anyways, guys, I'm going to see you. Braden, say bye. Um, I'm going to put Braden's socials down below because I have to give him some clout. Uh, his YouTube, IG, because uh, he's going to sell a program in the future. Uh, trying to <laughs> yeah, you guys can come to my course in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Go pay him, not me. But, yeah, guys, I appreciate y'all. Have a good one. We'll talk soon. Brandon, I appreciate you, bro. Peace. <laughs>